Ultimately, for all the work that we do in the brewery, it is the person at the bar who is serving the pint of beer who is the final point of contact with the customer. My name's Roger Ryman, I'm brewing director at St Austin Brewery. Um, I'm currently sitting in the Seven Stars Inn. Uh, this is, was a, Walter Hicks's original pub. I joined St Austin Brewery in, uh, I remember the day clearly, it was 6th of April 1999. The biggest change is simply the volume of beer that we produce. We used to brew three times a week, we now brew three times a day. If you want to make beer, you only need, you only need four ingredients. That's water, barley, hops and yeast. Uh, right, where we are right now, this is the mill room, so this is the start of the brewing process. This is right at the top of the brewery tower. Before the, the barley can come, come to the brewery to be used for, for brewing beer, it has to be malted. The malt is the, the heart and soul of the beer, so we get, get, can get uh, sweet, toffee, caramel, nutty, roasted flavours that come from using the different types of malt. Well, this is our brew house. So um, each batch of beer, we brew roughly 175 brewers barrels on a brew. So in language that most people understand, that's around about 55,000 pints of beer. The mash comes out looking like a thick porridge. It falls into this vessel and it rests in here for 60 minutes. And during that time, from the barley, we infuse and extract all of the sugar and the colour and the flavour that's going to go into our final beer. So we add the hops in here, we bring the wort to the boil and we boil it for an hour and 15 minutes. And during this process, we are purging off raw aromas from the grain, we're extracting the flavour out of the hops and importantly, we're also sterilising the wort. Well, this is a fermentation room. It takes us eight hours to brew each batch of beer, but then it takes a further seven days to ferment. So each one of these vessels will hold one brew of beer from the brew house. So we have lost count of how many vessels we've got. Let me think, one, two, three, four, five, 18 different fermentation vessels. We add the yeast and during that time, the yeast will feed on the sugars, converting the sugars into alcohol. We've been brewing beer here for 160 years, but we've never brewed lager before. The techniques are a little bit different. Lagers have to be a very, very delicate. Any, um, any flavor deviation is immediately apparent. But I've been delighted with Korev and the, the success of it. It's been launched for just, uh, just over 12 months and it's been a, a phenomenal success for us. Yeah, so cask conditioned beer is really beer in its, its most natural and um, unadulterated form. So cask conditioned beer spends seven days in the fermentation vessels and then it's pumped from the fermentation vessels to a what we call a racking tank, it's simply a holding tank, and then from there we fill it directly into the casks. Our business has been growing so rapidly we simply outgrew the old equipment and we had to, we had to do something to expand, so we've uh, invested quite a lot of money in what is, uh, I believe, one of the most, uh, most modern and efficient cask plants in the whole of the country. Brewing is 90% cleaning, 90% hygiene, and um, if you haven't got the cleaning and the hygiene right, the rest of it is not going to work. So, so once the beer leaves the brewery, it's vitally important that um, the beer is kept in, a, in hygienic conditions, in a hygienic cellar, and dispensed through clean, regularly cleaned beer lines. And we recommend to every licensee they should clean their beer lines a minimum of once per week. So it is a fresh food product and like all fresh food products it tastes great when it's fresh but clearly fresh food can stale so it's really important that we, that we keep turnover with beer, we keep it moving. In the pub a single cask of beer should take no more than two to three days to sell. The bottling line was installed in 2009. The bottled beer is a big growth part of our business. Having control of our own our own process, our own quality means that uh, our, our bottled beer is, is better than it's ever been and the awards that it, it's won really, really reflect that. When I joined the brewery, and I, I remember clearly the day, 6th of April 1999, I was given a, uh, a task to brew a seasonal beer for that summer's uh, solar eclipse in Cornwall. I still have the original brew sheet, actually, which I brewed on the 23rd of April 1999, and that beer was the beer that went on to become tribute. It's lighter in colour, it's slightly fuller, it's not so bitter, but it's got a real characteristic fruity late hop flavour. So it's a much more contemporary style of beer. 
So uh, Trelawney's a, um, it's an amber ale, a bit of caramel and toffee, and uh, it's quite a delicious beer and really drinkable. HSD is um, probably one of our most classic beers. It's got a really nice deep copper, tawny brown colour to it. It's um, characterised by malt, so we've got really nice crystal, caramel, toffee, nutty flavours coming through in the beer. Admiral's Ale, certainly in 2008, was uh, awarded the Supreme Champion at uh, the International Beer Competition. Um, so that was the Champion of Champions, which was you know, phenomenal. Yeah, Proper Jobs, uh, a beer that we've been making for uh, seven or eight years now. So it has a slightly drier palate than, than other beers. It's slightly more bitter, but it has a really big, distinctive, fruity hop flavour. We've recently introduced a Seven Star Promise because this is because we believe that if customers, quite rightly, are paying good money to buy a pint of beer, it should be perfect. The beer that I'm really excited about actually is Korev. I think the great thing about Korev is it's a new category. Tribute is a great cast condition beer, but now we've got a great lager as well. The quality of beer today, as well as the choice of beer today, is greater than it ever has been at any time in history. Serving Great Beer is a partnership between brewery and pub. I spend a lot of time coming into pubs and enjoying great beer, but it'd be really good to see people coming into the brewery to see how it's made, find out the stories, find out how we go to so much hard work to make sure that the beer that you receive in the pub is in tip-top condition so that we can work together to serve the perfect pint.